Well, our in-studio guest tonight has taken his game to new levels on practically every level. As a shooter, scorer, and rebounder, and leader, Noah Waterman has boosted his numbers and the Cougars' fortunes in the process. Please welcome back into Studio C, Noah Waterman! <laughs> The 93, you like it? <laughs> it's my lucky number. Why is it your lucky number, 93? 93, uh, one of my brothers was born. Uh, did you, you did, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to get in trouble with this is for a long time, so no. <laughs> and speaking of uh, uh, brothers, siblings, you've got, you have nine, are you the youngest of nine or do you have nine siblings? Uh, so I'm the youngest boy of nine. Of I nine. got a little sister, everybody else is older. Wow. Yeah. So th there's a lot of you. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> How many of them have seen you play in person at BYU? Any? In person? Yeah. Uh, my mom and my brother that's closest in age to me uh, saw me play last year. Okay. So when your mom came out, she ca he came with her at the same time? Yep. Okay, right on. Um, okay. Uh, do you have any letters that link all your names? Like, are you all N's or something? Are you all over the place? Uh, it's all biblical. Okay, so, yeah. let's go. Well, uh, top to bottom. <laughs> top to bottom? Yeah. So it goes Seth, Heath, Hannah, Josh, Rebecca, Josiah, Benjamin, me, and then Elizabeth. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did Coach make sure that you were going to be in black sweats tonight? Uh, yeah, we kind of coordinated it, no, as you can see. We just, we're just here, man. We're just right now. You know what I'm saying? It's just all <laughs> Noah, welcome back, by the way. You've done this before here. Yeah. Uh, how would you describe year one as a BYU Cougar to year two as a BYU Cougar from your personal standpoint? Uh, year one for me, uh, a lot of ups and downs for me. Uh, but we got into the gym a lot, me, coach, and our, our whole team, and just worked on everything, our chemistry. We went to Italy and built a lot of chemistry, and it's really showing uh, this year. So You're from Savannah, New York. Mm-hmm. Uh, you played at Niagara, you played at Detroit, you eventually made your way this far west. Uh, now that you've been in Provo uh, for a couple of years, uh, how would you describe the, uh, the adjustment of lifestyle from East Coast to where you live to, to living in Provo now? Uh, it's a little different. Uh, the weather's kind of the same, except in New York it's super snowy, so <laughs> I kind of don't miss the snow. Uh, but other than that, I really love Provo. Uh, the people uh, the atmosphere, the fan base is amazing. So Teammates? The teammates, yeah, I can't forget that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this group feels like a special group, and it feels like the fact that you've been together and got to stay together is a big part of that. What's the value of having a group that, for the, more, for the most part, is kind of who you were last year, just a year older and, uh, and wiser all together? Uh, I think it helps a lot, and it's been showing on the court. Uh, I think it really all starts with, like, the chemistry, like, with us. Uh, team bonding. We're doing a team bonding activity after this, actually. So I'm going to hop over there. Um, but you know he, do you know what's going on, he Coach? He's got to get over there quick because yeah. he, he got to go defend his name. i got to win some games. We're okay. Playing, we're playing Super Smash Bros. So, okay. so I didn't know this. Like, I didn't know this. We had a meeting today before practice, and I did not know that you were the reigning Super Mario champ, I am, Smash Brothers champ. I'm the champ right now. You know, yeah. so got to got to go over there. So it was you and Trev. Yeah. And who you guys talking smack to? Uh, we were talking smack to Dawson and Dallin. Dawson and Dallin, yeah, yeah that's right. That's <laughs> They've right. tried to beat us like 100 times. <laughs> so far, they might have beat us, beaten us one time. So, Coach, so, what? so if you guys want to sneak over there, the guys are actually playing on the Jumbotron. So At the Marriott Center. On the yeah. Jumbotron at the Marriott Center. So everybody, we'll just come on over after. Yeah. You're all invited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's get your perspective, Coach, on Noah year one to year two. Um, well, should I be honest? Be honest, Coach. <laughs> so, um, I've said this, I said this already earlier, um, but Noah came here, and I think Noah came here and was like, I don't know, like, this place is just what it is, and this team is kind of what it is, and then um, over the course of the spring and the summer, he made unbelievable commitments um, to be more focused in his life. And he went from being one of the guys to being one of the most driven, focused guys uh, on our team. And it's been 
has been awesome. Like, it's unbelievable to watch. Like, um, we talk about this all the time, but what's inspiring is to see guys grow. Their trajectory is actually more important to us than their current level. And Noah's trajectory right now is insane. What he's doing is super cool. And I'll even say it, because I'm not worried about his head getting too big. <laughs> it's awesome. You are at a place that has taken in uh, players uh, from different countries, different cultures, and they're kind of a multi melting pot in this locker room right now. How cool is that to be part of a team that's not just all of one thing, you're a bunch of different things? Yeah, no, it's really cool. We have guys from all over the world, like Ali, uh, Tiki, they come from Africa, me, New York, a lot of people from Provo, Washington, and everything like that, so it's awesome. Like, just having that in a locker room, uh, I feel like a lot of locker rooms don't have that, so it's cool. How about the bond among the bigs? How would you describe that? Uh, <laughs> we're super close. Me, Ali, Foos, and Atiki, like, we're joking all the time during practice, warm-ups, stuff like that. Like, I love playing with Ali, best pass, passer in the country, 100%. Um, but, yeah, we're just really close. Did you, did, did you know what you were in for when Ali joined the program? And how long did it take for you to realize this guy's a little, a little different? Uh, nah, I realized pretty quick. When he, <laughs> he, he gets so crazy, like, behind the back passes in practice. I'm like, hold up. <laughs> like, who is this guy? Um, yeah, so during, right when I saw that, I'm like, yeah, he's special. Um, so it was, it's, it's been cool. I mean, how about, you, you scouted Ali, so you knew yeah. what you were getting, I think, a little bit. Yeah. But it was kind of fun to see how it actually turned out on the floor when you got him in. Yeah, well, you, just, you just always wonder if it's going to translate. And yeah. it's, been, it's been really fun to translate. And he's actually, um, you know, Ali makes our guys better, and our guys make Ali better. Um, because he's got guys to pass to, and he's got unbelievable space on the floor because everybody is chasing every single one of our guys around because uh, everybody's making shots, and uh, it's, it's, it's really a magical union. It's been pretty fun. No, I mentioned in the open how all your numbers have gotten better from one year to the next here at BYU. What did you focus most on, and what's maybe the most, uh, the improvement you're most proud of or happy with from last year to this year? Protecting the ball. <laughs> we talked about that all the time. All the time. That's my guy. Right? <laughs> yeah, protecting the ball. Yeah, really so, yeah. <laughs> Number one assist to turnover team in the country right now is BYU. Yeah. And Noah's like a 6% uh, turnover percentage, give or take, um, which, is, which is in the top three on the team right now. Um, and then if I could brag about Noah, too, um, he's probably in a lot of games he's become – he went from being a very pedestrian defender – uh, last year, statistically in some numbers, <laughs> to be in like elite level this year. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, I go back to the North Carolina State game, and we had a guard that was running wild that we could not contain. And so we actually switched Noah onto him and said, Noah, you go take care of this. It's elite level combo guard. And Noah shut him down. Like Noah's defensive um, contribution to our team has been, it's been incredible. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to build a bright future for him. It's pretty cool. Noah, your take on the Big 12 grind that's about to start on Saturday. It's going to be fun. I cannot wait for the game uh, on Saturday. Like, I've been waiting for the Big 12. Uh, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a grind. Everybody knows that. But I think if we're just us, like, we're going to surprise a lot of people. And it's, it's just going to be a great season. How about the support of Cougar Nation? Uh, you, you, got a, you got a Wyoming team in this past Saturday. Uh, night before New Year's Eve, students are still out and 18,000 people in the building. Yeah, it was crazy to me. Before the game, like, I'm on Instagram scrolling and I look and it's like sold out. I'm like, sold out. I'm thinking, ah, maybe this is a Cincinnati game. Like, maybe they messed up, like, the Instagram post. <laughs> <laughs> and then I walk in there and I'm looking around I'm like, wow, like, Cougar Nation is really legit. Best fan base in the country. And I'll keep saying that. I'm worried about the student section because I think everybody gobbled up their seats, man. That's what I thought. <laughs> we got to get the student section back in there somehow. Maybe we have them sit in the aisles. We got to figure something out. <laughs> you have some more big nights to come. But when you go back home or whatever it's going to be in the future, what are you going to say about – I got to play in the Marriott Center, and it was like this. What would you say? Uh, I would say I got to play in the Marriott Center, and it's one of a kind. Like, that's what I'm going to tell everybody back home. Uh, I've been telling all my brothers and sisters, like, yo, you got to come out just to see it. Like, it's crazy. Like, the fans and everything, like, it's a special place.